Hello everyone. So here is a, a demonstration of thermal vision in Call of Duty. This is one of these gunship missions. And here you can see uh, hot things in blue, in white and colder things are in dark or black. So I'm trying to implement something somewhat similar to this. And here is what I could implement. So this is the regular mode in my game. And if I press N here, now we are in the thermal vision mode. Here you can see there is an enemy over there, which I don't see in the regular under light in regular lighting conditions. But if I go into the thermal vision, I can clearly see that. So yeah, this is what we are going to work on today. And not just here, there are other enemies also in the level C. One of them is moving over there. I can see through my binoculars yeah and yeah this is what we are going to work on today now before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my patron page once you become a member you will be able to access everything without any limit so feel free to check it out I'll leave the links in the description below and here is the full playlist of this uh, third person shooter project. Everything is implemented from scratch and everything is explained in full detail. So feel free to follow this series and implement everything by yourself if you're interested. So yeah, I think this is the most detailed third person shooter tutorial series in the in YouTube. So yeah, I'll leave the link in description below. And now let's get back to today's tutorial okay so yesterday we implemented this uh, night vision system where you see where you can use it like this if i press n night vision mode is enabled and you can see enemies in the dark if i disable you see nothing is visible barely visible this load but in the night vision mode it's clear so yeah, now similar to this, we are going to implement a thermal vision system. And as the reference, I'm going to use this video, which is uh, another mission from Call of Duty. So this is the thermal vision that I'm going to reference. You can see here, these characters are shown in white. So basically hot things are shown in white and cold things are dark, but I'm not really concerned about the accuracy. I just want to make the characters look white and the environment a bit darker just to simulate something like a thermal vision. So yeah, now let me pause the video and let's go here. So just like before, let's create a new post process material. MPP thermal is it vision okay right run this and change the material domain to post process and get a same texture using post process input and connect we will get exactly what we see here. If I do such a red, we will get a black and white image. Now apply this. Let me manually apply this here to my post process under post process materials. And see, everything became black and white. Okay, but this is not enough, obviously. Now here, I want to increase the I want to uh, compress this difference into a more wider range like more in white area so maybe if I divide this by some value this would become more dark but of course 
it would come to a close range the difference so let's contrast and then if i add some offset maybe one is too much let's try 0.4 that's it now everything is kind of white less difference now if i put this into a power node you should see again an increase in contrast but most of the things are already in a similar range okay okay so maybe to introduce some noise here because this looks too clean so let's try introducing some noise position this yeah multiply with the noise okay so here i will let me apply and see maybe this is too much Oh, we can control outputs. So maybe 0 0.6 to 1. Yeah, this might be good. But still, these walls looks too clean. So we can reduce the scale. Okay, this might be all right. We can fine tune this things later on. Okay, now still, now we have this kind of white look, but still, we don't have the, we don't really see the character. So that's what we need to fix next. Okay, maybe I think I like having a smaller noise. This is here we see some flickery okay now to get the character visible here let me go let me select the character and the mesh and we had already done some changes to the material to make it look make it appear in the night vision mode see this parameter and let me de duplicate this parameter and rename thermal emission okay so i'll directly connect this over here and maybe let's have a higher value for this okay now see we can see the character oh this noise texture is too large so I think we need to swap. But in the distance, it's okay. Right. So this is the thermal vision mod. And here other characters as well, we can see them clearly now. Uh, and if you want to make the rest of the environment darker, what you can do is, yeah, let me promote these two parameters. I'll call this, what should I call this? Like, offset get point two you see now it's darker back point four okay and I'll promote this one also to 
parameter let's call it uh, thermal compression step four step two okay okay great so here is the final demonstration and in the next episode i will show you how to use uh, this uh, thermal vision and also night vision mode the regular night vision mode and cycle through tactical vision modes so that is something i wish to integrate but for now this is i'm going to stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in another episode goodbye